six to eight children by five when he up there with future he he ain't got that yet i guess they probably about neck and neck but jock jock is older than future so i mean he had more time <laughs> you're ready because you about to be an atl -L -E -L -E. shout out to young jock in the building you know he on atlanta radio and stuff he on love and hip-hop atlanta they say he is making all the money and stuff. He used to have a nightclub. I don't know if he still does. I don't know what the hell Young Jock do besides bring his mouth. But uh, Young Jock uh, is in the news because he got arrested. He got locked up. He got shackled. <laughs> That's not funny. But um, everybody was like, well, what was it for? Why is this mugshot circling around? Well, apparently uh, Young Jock got arrested for child endangerment. Um abandonment 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 oh let me sorry not endangerment abandonment he didn't pay his child support okay now this is his mugshot i would be remiss if i didn't show it you know i have to you know we have to pull receipts around here this is young jock's mugshot i first saw it on the neighborhood talk but i, I think they had de deleted it or something i don't know what they had did but when i went back it wasn't there but i had screenshot it but i guess they put it back i don't know but this is uh his uh mug shot. Let's zoom in. See what it's looking like. See what it's looking like. Okay, there go young guy. Look at him. Okay. Uh he had a nice fresh haircut and everything. And according to uh the news over there, uh, this is what had happened. They say that rapper Young Jot was arrested uh on Cinco de Mayo in Gwinnett County, Georgia, for a misdemeanor charge of child abandonment. Uh, he was released an hour after being arrested on a $1,300 bail. Now, of course, you know, young Jock was going to speak about it. Young Jock was going to open his mouth and tell the world what had happened. So he said he was embarrassed, but he going he gonna to tell the world what happened. He went on his radio show early this morning and said that uh, he's paying one of his baby mamas. He got a whole bunch of kids, apparently. I don't know. Let me see how many he got. Let me see. I'm reading. Listen, I'm reading on Sandra Rose. You know, I have to support all the people who support me. OK, I said Jock has at least six to eight children with five women. Let me put this mugshot back up while I talk. Honey. Six to eight children by five women. He up there with future. He, he ain't got that yet. I guess they probably about neck and neck. But Jock, Jock is older than future. So, I mean, he had more time. <laughs> it's just a mess. It's just a mess. Let me go back to the mugshot. Okay, let me zoom in so we can talk about it. Yes, Jack, there you go. Okay. So uh, according to uh, Sandra Rose, Jack has six children with six to eight children, excuse me, with five women. He has no children with his wife, Alexander Alexandria Robinson, who is a criminal defense attorney who appeared alongside him on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. But you know, he's also been married two previous times. Okay. According to Gwinnett County Court documents, Jock, whose real name is Jaseel Amon Robinson, was charged with misdemeanor child abandonment around 4 a.m. on Monday, May 5th. He was released on bond an hour later. The rapper turned radio host told listeners on his Streets Morning Takeover show on Monday that he's paying one of his baby mamas $5,000 a month and child support, and she wants more. Jock, who was 41, said he had just left an event when he was pulled over by the police. I was sponsoring an event for the mayor of South Fulton, and I was going home to get dressed. An Atlanta Police Department pulled behind me, and they didn't say nothing. They just walked up to the car. I'm sitting here like, what y'all pulled me over for? And he never said nothing. This is what Jock had said on the show this morning. He added, I rolled down the passenger window and the female officer said, yep, that's him. And then the male officer came to the driver's side and said, sir, I'm going to ask you to get out the car. I'm like, all right. Then he just put handcuffs on me and said, you might have a warrant. Oh, child, what else he had said? Uh, he continued, I have been playing so much, uh, so much money up ahead to stay ahead. Once I realized, listen, I ain't going to read all that. Let me just. Let me just play the video, child. Let me just play this video and y'all can hear it y'all so hold on. Let me play the video. Stop the screen. Share the screen. All right, all right. Hold on. 
Oh, no, we're gonna get there. Bill, 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 there it is. Bill, Bill. Okay, you can come over here. Come over here. Hold on. That's not the video. This is what happens. Y'all know this is a live show. This is what I do. Hold on, we gotta make it big. Now, here is what Jack has said about his arrests. Oh, first, let me put my disclaimer up. As usual, y'all can read along with me if you like. But those of you who just get here, you know, y'all get used to this. This disclaimer, copyright disclaimer on Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. What are we doing, chat? What are we doing? Researching exactly crazy. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, now we can continue and listen to this. Well, that's what they that, said. That is a a new term, but it's also a broad term. Well, that's what they said. First, it was saying it was child endangerment. Endangerment. And then once people really saw what it was, it said child abandonment. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So, would you like to explain? Hell yeah! Oh, innocent mom. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, man, I was I was uh, actually sponsoring the event for the mayor of South Fulton, mm -hmm. um, and I was going home to get dressed, and uh, a lot of police department pulled behind me, and they ain't say nothing. He just walked up to the car. Now, interesting enough, you know, I'm sitting here like, well, what you put me over for? He never said nothing. He just grabbed me. He said, I rolled down the passenger window. The female officer said, yep, that's him. I'm like, what? what? Yeah. I'm like, what? Then he came to the driver, though, and he was like, so I'm asking you to get out of the car. I'm like, all right. I got a car. He just put handcuffs on me. Right. Then he was like, you might have a warrant. That was it. That's all he said. Then he mm -hmm. put me in the back of the police car. They drove me out. Took me to Rice Street. I mean, the pre trial no. But you can't tell people what they're being arrested to. for? You are supposed to. Mm. Did yes. they read you your rights? No, never did. I never heard the rights. You I didn't hear the Miranda? Miranda? Never. Get never the... did. So anyway, I'm going to just tell you what happened. So people are saying this child abandoned men, and you know, people are trying to say that, oh, oh you know, that means you didn't pay child support. Yeah, well, sure, that's yeah. definitely what child abandonment means when, okay. you, when you hear it like that. But uh, in my case, that wasn't the case. So let's just say without saying who the kid's mom is, because we're going to keep that chill for a minute. Um, so I've been paying so much money mm -hmm. up ahead, right? Right. To stay ahead. Not just to stay ahead, because I didn't want no smoke. Right? right. So I paid a lot of money up. Once I realized, I felt I like, you know what? All the money. I don't have to pay you this much money. It wasn't that I, didn't, I realized. It was just, it came to the point. You know, I'm like, yo, I'm about to get married. I got to... I got to take my time and put finances toward, you know, my wedding. But I had spent so much money on child support for this particular child. Right. right? Now, that person got mad. The mother got mad and felt like, no, you're supposed to keep paying me this. I, I said, no, let's go to the lawyers. Let's get the attorneys involved mm -hmm. and we'll get a real, because we never, we never established what I would pay per month. Okay. And let's just say I was paying her a salary. Let's okay. just say that. I'm going to be honest. This on this on my mama, okay? It's on all my kids' lives. I was paying her an upwards to 4000 a month. Oh, wow. That's Actually, 5000 a month. I ain't really want to say that because I ain't want another kid and mama to be going in on after they hear this, but that's the truth. And that's what it was. So mm -hmm. when we did that, we while we were in the process of establishing all of my information, my documents, I need to see your contracts. I need, you know, when you start, when you're a celebrity, they going through everything right. when it comes to the attorneys. So when Christmas rolled around, they was like, I was like, look, we don't have an agreement. We don't have an agreement of what to pay. That's what we're trying to establish. So in the process of doing that, I said, well, hey, I give, I give you fifteen hundred dollars for Christmas. And the attorney said, no, that's not enough. So while my attorney and, and her attorney is going back and forth to establish this, they put this out on me. I didn't even know. I didn't even know I had a warrant, you know what I'm saying, for this. So here I am. I'm just living my life casually, still paying child support, you, you know what I'm saying? Right and now. suddenly they put out this child abandonment warrant because they did not want to accept the 1500 So when I go to court, this is going to have to be reversed. It's right. going to be taken off my record because there was no point in time where there was any abandonment. There was no point in time where there wasn't child support. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
So that's it in the gist of it. So for y'all with y'all, oh, he ain't paying, he ain't taking care of his kids. That's that's a wrap. Kill. Yeah, you had so many people in defense of you. They like Jack said that he was taking care of his kids. Y'all need to mind y'all business. Okay. He said he was paying that lady. <laughs> y'all said y'all don't believe him. He said he was paying that lady uh for that particular child. Upwards of uh four thousand dollars a month. She was, he was paying her salary. That's what Jack said. He was paying her salary, honey, for the kid, honey. He got eight kids. He was like, he didn't want to say how much because he didn't want the other baby mamas to get mad because he wasn't paying the other baby mamas them. Lord, see, this is this is an indication of when you don't have kids with all these different women, you wouldn't have to worry about all this. But who am I? Who is me to judge? I ain't got no kids. Okay, I, I was not listening. Let me shut up. Let me just shut up. And they're going to start calling me Kevin Samuels Jr. or something. He said 5K. Actually, listen, I don't care if it was 1K. At the end of the day, he got eight kids by five different women. And he's married to a woman he has no kids by. I don't understand. And she's an attorney. Why she ain't making him pay the money he's supposed to pay? Does she not know that her husband had a warrant against him? <sighs> anyway, I digress. I digress. Shout out to Young Jack because at least he went. He came out and he explained it. He didn't. He didn't cower. He didn't hide. He, look, the mugshot, you know, speaks for itself. Okay, the mugshot speaks for itself. But you know, there's that. Now